girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. You will have seen by the thumbnail, we have a huge, huge bag, okay? And I can't lie when I say that having Easter early, guys, has really blooming thrown me off. I'm walking down the aisles, I'm seeing the Mother's Day, I'm thinking like, yes, March. Then I'm seeing the Easter, I'm like, that's fine, I'll pick like a few bits up, I'll keep them for my April haul. Dan's like, Shan, Easter is end of March. I'm like, oh my God. This is completely throwing me out, guys. I don't know what to do. So there are a few Easter bits in it. I haven't gone OTT, as I say, because we have still got quite a lot of stuff in the lockup. And the stuff didn't really change. I can't lie. A lot of it did look familiar. I mean, there may be a little friend of ours popping up that I saw in three colours, but I just got the one because we all know in our household gonks our family and i was a little bit worried that i could end up getting a little bit sidetracked and taking the whole shelf of them so uh yes we have a huge bag of mostly essentials and quite a few non-essentials but hope you're ready for kicking off the month with our huge home bargains haul for march right so the first thing i'm going to kick off with guys buffalo kitchen roll an essential that is pretty much on most hauls oh god sorry about that guys you know you just have that shiver and you lose your breath however these are 400 so it's 100 sheets per roll and these are 279 or you can get a three pack which are slightly taller and i think you might is it £2.50 for like 380 sheets whatever it is but i thought you know what just go with the more the more for the extra 20p but i didn't realize that the one that i got the bottom was split so thank goodness i didn't pick it up the wrong way otherwise we would have had a bit of a disaster and they probably would have ended up everywhere to be perfectly honest oh me poof poofs run out and i actually couldn't find any poof poof reed diffuser refill things so sorry about that it's just gonna have to be doo -doo blanks at the minute right what i did pick up and i love this print 99p guys i picked up oh i've dented this little box don't like a dented box i got some tissue boxes so these are as i say 99p by the brand softy normally you see me with these at christmas time but i really thought that this nice neutral flower plant design i thought could be a good one. Oh, that box is completely bashed we're just gonna have to not show that because as i say towards the end of february i was poorly dan was poorly he's still getting over his so tissues are needed in abundance in this house and remember how every primark haul i used to do that i would have tissues <laughs> i've used all of them packs of tissues up and at the moment we've just got a huge box from tesco on there but i saw these and i was like you know what these are a bit more aesthetic okay these are a bit more nicer to look at than a random giant box of tissues on the side of the bed so i was like mm, okay i did get a few bits from the easter collection i can't lie guys but um it wasn't everything i was actually very very reserved i saw this and you know i'm a sucker for a fake plant and this was 3.99 and i just thought this was so cute look i feel like i might have a faux plant for easter but i feel like it's in a chick and i feel like it was from matalan but i don't think i have a little bunny oh actually do i have a big bunny was it a big bunny from matalan with like easter eggs mini easter eggs in it oh well even if i do you are gorgeous and as i say for 3.99 i didn't think that was too bad i might even try and jazz this up in the bathroom because it's fake flowers so it's not going to matter if the bathroom gets a little bit steamy but yeah they had this also in a lamb. They also had um, candle holders. They had quite a lot of gonks. That's falling. They had some pigs. They had some little like wicker animals. They also had two rabbits on like a wicker string. I feel like I've got something like that from the range last year. So I didn't pick that up, but that was about $4.99. And then they had big wreaths in essence that were wicker ones in the shape of like an Easter bunny silhouette. I did very much almost pick them up, but I was good. I thought, no, we don't, we don't need that, Shan. We will be good. We shall stay. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, I've just had a horrible thought no i didn't you know when you think i went out in my um work body warmer at lunch and i'm thinking 
I've left my credit card in my body warmer jacket and I didn't bring the bomber jacket home. <gasps> I haven't, thankfully. I remember I took it out and I put it in my bag. Sorry about that, guys. I had a mental brain lapse there. Now, on to some necessities. 79p Power Action Antibacterial Surface Wipes. 50 and I have noticed, even though they are a recurring favourite, in some of the other things, they are starting to bring out some more spring scents, which I'm all here for. I'm not mad at. Um, a few spring scents, a few colours, maybe going in with the lemons and the pinks. You know where I'm going with this, don't you guys? Now, I picked up another one of these. This is the Heatless Curling Rod, and it says, Beautiful curls with no damage to your hair. Now, I do have one of these. If you remember, I picked it up either off of Shein or TikTok. I feel like it could have been Shein. But do you think I can find them? No. No, I can't. So, this was $1.99, and I thought, you know what? I will grab another one because I actually really did like the way that my hair was. I'm potentially thinking of doing it tonight because... We're off out into London at the weekend, but it's not really going to be a thing where my hair is going to be out. We're doing a Jack the Ripper tour, so more than likely my hair is going to be up. And in a hood, because it's raining. So maybe I'll just keep this for maybe, I don't know. But I just thought I need to have one handy because I can't find mine. I actually have about three of them. There was polka dot ones, if I remember correctly. So, uh, oopsie. Oh, I love these. And you guys said to me, these are actually gluten-free. No, I wasn't aware of that. These are, if I remember correctly, about 79p. And they are those Sonko rice cakes. I got the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate. You get four per pack. And when I tell you these are the most delicious rice cakes that I've tried, just the right amount of chocolate. Like something that's not too sickly, something that's going to fill you up. I mean, sometimes I do have two. I'll have one in my morning breakfast and then I might have one as a little lunchtime snack. But they're really good on like the calorie front. They're a nice sweet treat without going too much into your calories and your bad stuff. But yeah, gluten free. Even though it does say on the front gluten free, your girl never realised it. Oopsie. And then, oh, I really want to get see his little hat but i'm not getting you out just yet i picked up a few easter picks now you know me guys i love to do some form of like a flower arrangement whether it be halloween christmas easter i love a little bit of flowers so these are individual picks i say these because i got more than one they had three styles and guess what shan got one of each and these were if i remember correctly 199 which is pricey but not as pricey as the range i always remember i got a pick for halloween at the range last year it was lovely it was like a black feather with a skull and a rose and that was about four pounds so these are half the price but that was the first one that i picked up i just thought it was a really cute one it's got little rabbits in it you've got your little sunflowers and like almost your clovers and daisies i really liked that one and as i say yes they're um <laughs> there may be some more other bits because i couldn't decide and i was like you know what i feel like i could make a nice little arrangement with that mum can make a fabulous arrangement when she's doing her cleaning with some j cloths 30 sheets and i think these have gone up now guys i think these were about one pound 19 they've crept up they used to be 99 if i remember correctly but yeah mum was like need some day day cloths j cloths and as you can see standard 30 on a roll Cheap, cheerful, it does the job, don't it? Oh, you just got to stay there. I want to bring you out, but not yet. Oh, what I was saying about the uh, spring scents. Good old Fabulosa picked up a room spray, 99p, and this is in a spring blossom. Now, also, the packaging is fabulous. Packaging is cute. We've got baby pink on the back, and it smells lovely. Mum did specify no more air fresheners. So I feel like I might have to put this away under the sink before she realises it. Unless she's counted how many are in there. To which I might have to take one out quickly, put it in the bathroom as an extra. And then pop this in. She'll never know. She'll never know. She knows that if she says to me, Shan, we don't need any of this. You know, like hand wash and washing up liquid. Yeah, they always end up falling in there. Because I think you can't go to the bargain shops, guys without getting your necessities whether that be your drinks and you know what i say because i sound like a broken record when i say if you go to the bargain shops and you don't get your drinks 
what are you doing what are you doing we actually got a good few little drinks down here today and also likewise if you're cleaning bits and bobs don't be paying the prices of the supermarkets let your bargain shops help you out and save you a penny or two eh and talking of cleaning products i was happy about this fabuloso again that's starting to come through with the spring summer scents i picked up this one this is the lush pomegranate and you might think it looks bigger it is you've got 50 percent extra free so you've got a 750 mil one for the price of the 325 i haven't smelled here and we all know when i smell things like this i have to be very careful because i have a tendency to over inhale and that's not good for anyone is it oh that's nice oh okay this could be my little one when i do me room when i take like i say take the love themed out i think i'm actually probably going to keep me body positivity stuff about and just put a little bit of a easter within it but yeah they had them in lemon sherbet they also still ha did have a few christmas scents but yeah grab yourself a bargain guys and get the uh big versions for the same price at the moment you know these aren't for me mum loves her green scarers doesn't she 10 for 50p me on the other hand i like the six pink ones with the white bottom mum does not care so um, yeah she needed some essentials which are very much cheap and cheerful essentials so i was like you know what you do you mum and yeah i picked them up i was like are you sure you don't want me to get you the pink one she was like sham i get four more extra sponges and i probably save about 20p i'm like she's got a point she's got a point now i did delve into the easter section for the food just a tad because i still do want to do a 24 hours eating easter food even though as i said i mentioned in my hello march video i'm not actually going to be at home for easter with mum it's going to be a very different easter vlog so we'll see how that goes but um i do want to still do the 24 hours so i've been seeing these bits before so i'm like yeah chuck them in these were 120 and they are marshmallow bunnies and chicks and I'm like, you know what? They can just get chucked in for when we have that 24 hour if we're doing hot chocolates or you just want a little sweet treat throughout the day. And that is uh, the purpose of the video, to stuff our face with as much Easter stuff as we can and live life. Now, I have actually got quite a lot of these. These are the Mogu Mogu drinks. Now, if you remember way back in the day, I had a box from a company kind of similar to what I do with Snackverse, but it was a gifted box and it was all things to do like Asian sweets, drinks, snacks. And Mogu Mogu was there. Well, I picked one of these up last month and Dan has taken a liking to it. And they're about 79p if I remember correctly. And we picked up one of every single flavour. And this one is lychee. Now, if you don't know what Mogo Mogo is, it's kind of like a flavoured water juice, but then you have bits of jelly in it, which I know is not to everyone's cup of tea. Like um, if people like bubble tea and stuff like that, you'll know like the little jelly pieces. But yeah, we have the lychee one. And as I say, there's quite a few in the bag. So I'm sure wherever we delve in and find them, you will see them. Another pick. Again, $1.99. I loved this one. I absolutely loved this one. All the little mini Easter eggs. And I just thought, cute. I actually wish I'd probably have got more than one of each. If I do my Easter bouquet and I don't like it and I need to fluff it out a bit more, I think I will have to go back. Because I'm trying to remember as well, I think I have from Poundland, which I've had years, the Easter eggs and the Easter bunnies, the glitter ones on the spikes. And we normally do get normal flowers for Easter as well. So we normally like put these in around a normal bunch of flowers. So I don't know. Let's see how it goes, guys. Okay, we shall have to see how it goes. I normally get told off for picking this up, but this was actually on the list. This is the Duck Limited Edition game of Tropical Adventure Fresh Action Gel. 99p. And as you know, I do normally love picking up a duck. However... I didn't pick up any of the rim blockers. I think that's what they're called. You guys keep telling me the name. Because they didn't have any like normal scents. And they was all like deep blues. I want like the yellows and the pinks. So I saw this and I was like, you know what? Duck, you can actually come home with me and not get me in trouble for once. Because mum has actually asked me for you. So, you know what? I'm all good with that. We saw this and Dan was like, oh, can we have that for the 24 hours? And I'm thinking, hold on a minute. It's me and Mama G that do the 24 hours. So I don't know if he's um, inviting himself along for the 24 hour challenge with us. But he has seen this. And this is the Hoppy Easter Popcorn Slab. 
white chocolate coated toffee popcorn with jelly and milk chocolate decorations. This was $2.99. And let's see, does it come out? Yes, it does. So I've seen these about. We had one at Christmas, which was the Grinch Five, and he absolutely demolished that. So I mean, there's obviously probably going to be a Halloween one, but yeah, he was uh, very thrilled when he saw that. So I was like, go on. I'll put that in with the marshmallows and that will be towards our thing. And oh guys, would it be a home bargain store if we didn't have some of these laying around? No is the answer to that. 49p, good old mug shot, tasty chicken and mushroom noodles. I picked up four of these, so there's probably going to be the other three rooting around the bag somewhere. But you need to... You're getting tangled up in the bag now. I know you want to come out, but I'm saving you to last. Because you're the piece de resistance. So soft. Talking of washing up liquid, I couldn't decide, so yes, I got two. Um, but this one is value for money, guys. This is a litre, if I remember correctly. Yes, one litre for one pound, easy washing up liquid lemon. And that is huge. Like, we all know Mama G, she loves to when she washes up. She's not easy on the washing up liquid. And I can't lie, neither am I. I like to be like... I want all the bubbles. So I picked up this one and then I couldn't decide on the other. I'm actually going to put you there because I don't want you leaking all over me, but thank you. Um, where was the other one? You probably know what one I'm going to pull out if you're an OG. Where is it hiding? It might actually really be hiding, guys. We'll have to see. Oh, did I actually pick it up? I thought I got two. Maybe we'll see when we get down there. I did pick something up from the Mother's Day range. As I say, mum says to me, guys, right, listen to this. Shan, don't get me any slippers, socks, mugs, anything like that. I have got some of the bits that she hasn't asked for, but they're nice bits. Um, and then I come in yesterday and I'm like, why is there a mug on my desk? And when I read it, it says, um, love to a lovely mum, happy Mother's Day. And I'm like, Mum, have you bought yourself a mug for Mother's Day? She went, it was only a quid from Asda. And I'm sitting there thinking, I've bought her two from Asda too that she doesn't know about. I'm like, okay. So when she moans that she's got three mugs, um, that's not my problem because I've got a really nice one for a little cabinet and then I've got like a general everyday one. Now she's got herself a third one. So I'm like, okay. But I saw this in the Mother's Day section. It was $1.99. And you know, mum, she loves like things hanging around her bed and all that. And it says, forever my mum and always my friend. Just a little ceramic heart. And I thought, you know what? That was really cute because she can even put it on like a little um, hook on the wall if she wants to. Or as I say, she probably will put it around her bed knowing her. But yes, I did enjoy picking that up. And where? I don't know where that is, guys. But um, what we do have is another flower pick. This one is a little bit more minimal. I think they could have put a few more rabbits on. But I'm not going to moan. It was a more of a spring neutral vibe. And I think with all of these, because these two are a bit loud, don't they? So I feel like they could all complement each other really nicely. I liked them. And as I say... I haven't seen any in the range this year. I saw the Halloween ones, which were double the price. However, they were a lot bigger. I really did enjoy my Halloween display last year. If I could have, I wouldn't have actually taken it out. I would have bought more vases and just like left that display as it was. Because I think it looked like almost a farmer's market display. But yes, unfortunately, that had to go and make way for the Christmas ones. Oh, here we go. We've got... Oh, here's all the other three, guys. The other three mugshot noodles. And then, oh yeah, I also got something else from the Mother's Day section. I need, this was 99p, just a little like, is it called like a tip bit? Like a little stocking filler. And it's just a little hand cream and a nail file. Because she's always faffing around and saying that her nails need to be done. I offer to do them with the gel, she says no. And then she says that her hands are dry. So I thought, you know what, that's just a little something to chuck in. I've got to go and pick up her presents next week. I've got a selection. And of course, you know me, guys, there is going to be a few little red envelopes for us. So uh, we shall see how it goes. And then she said, oh, I've seen something out. And I'm like, if you want it, pick it up. Like, off you pop and go wild. Talking of going wild, I saw these guys and they were 39p. Ow, I just hit myself in my glasses. And I haven't seen this flavour before. 
pink grapefruit meets blood orange flavor and they're Schweppes. Schweppes. So I picked these up, as I say, 39p. Don't quite know what they're gonna be like. I wish they'd done the little cans of tonic. If you're an OG, you remember a couple of years ago, I had an absolute find with the 19p cans of Schweppes tonic. They've not done it anymore. I should have bought that by the pallet truck. Should have bought that by the pallet truck. But yeah, I'm actually uh, looking forward to trying those ones. And then what else have we got? Oh, we got another Mogu Mogu. This one is mango. Mango with the little uh, jelly pieces in. So yes, we have uh, quite a selection to say the least. We also, this is what I mean by say like we're getting into the spring colours guys. Astonish. Zesty lemon floor cleaner. Now it was one litre and I feel it was around the £1.50 mark. Which I think is a very, very good price. And as I say, they had it in the lemon or they had it in a spring blossom which was a pink one. But I'm not really floral am I guys. I'm a lot more like citrusy and yellow and lemon and all the good stuff talking of the good stuff but these have gone up weren't happy about that i got my cup noodles soba so normally i get my nissin noodle pots uh katsu or teriyaki i couldn't find them this month so i picked up the classic soba these are £1.59 but as i say they they have gone up a bit and I don't quite know why, but they are nice. They are probably up there with some of my favourite little noodle pots. And it's just nice every now and again for a little treat. Don't shout at me. I got a new shower gel, okay? I could not walk past this and not pick it up, guys. It's by Kusan's Creations again, and it's absolute pandemonium. Tropical jelly and cupcakes. Okay, 500ml bath soap and this was 99p. I haven't even smelt it. I literally picked it up and put it in because I like the packaging. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Oh, okay. So this is the bath soap. They also had it in hand wash. I didn't actually pick up the hand wash this time because I thought mum might actually shower me. And then they had the littler version which I think is like 250ml which is like a shower gel. But I like this for the bubbles 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 because i did actually then pick myself up a shower gel <laughs> you know me this was 99p again and it's the original sauce and this one i haven't seen before original sauce i normally refer to with like the tea tree and spearmint this is cherry and almond milk so i'm feeling like cherry bake wall oh it is well i'm gonna come out smelling like a snap like a piece of cake look at that guys absolutely love that so of course that um ended up in my basket and then of course we had a few more drinks 75p it says around the top guys no 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 49p is what you pay fanta fruit twist because i'm feeling like i want to start i would say it's getting warmer it's actually not but i want to start getting back into my gins and i kind of get bored of sometimes just gin and tonic and gin and lemonade i actually really do love a gin with a fanta or a gin with a fanta lemon which yes i did i picked up two because these again were 39p and it's even the tall cans like when you go on holiday so yes guys i was very very ecstatic and picked up some more of my drinks and then alongside that these just fell in but these are like my healthy snacks you know these are a returning favorite whether it be boots super drug any of the bargain shops slim fast sour cream and chive pretzels guys perfect for when you fancy that little savory tree and you're like you know what i need moderation because you know the big share bags aka shannon bag because shannon doesn't share her snacks we can't really have them at the moment guys because we're trying to be healthy so those little i have to think of this as the new shannon snack bag and trust me shannon isn't sharing a bag that small let me tell you that right now mum wanted some bleaches so i've got two alternatives we got her a simply pink clean and fresh this is about 50p this one guys the lovely pink one standard you get it in yellow blue then you get like a platinum ultra thick which is white it's like a whitey gray one and then i also picked up a thick version this was 79p for the thick one of citrus blast so she's got an alternative she can either have the normal or she can have a thick one thick blend now you guys know i love a ding-a-ling at christmas don't i i absolutely love Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. 
on the uh oh no i've proper got that uh, muddled up now ain't i yes oh shannon lee what have you done here um i like to have these on the door frames can i somehow yes i can this was 2.99 so it's a little well you can have it as anything you could hang it on a wall but i would hang these on my door handles very old school i think that they were really cheap but safe way of like an intruder alert because you'll know if someone starts to rattle your door and as i say very very cute they did have it with a pink bow but the pink bow was split so i was like mm, i need to go with the blue bow okay oh the last mogu mogu and what flavor are we today strawberry so we have three of the mogu mogus and as i say please let me know down below whether you're a bubble tea um whether you're maybe like a bubble tea milk style or a bubble tea juice person if you have like the popping beads or the jelly pieces let me down let me down let me know down below because yeah i love and i'm into all of that i did get another washing up liquid because i couldn't decide between the pair of them guys this was i think like 79p slightly cheaper by kuzon's morning fresh in apple fresh this is 675 ml so it's still a big one they also do this in lemon scent as well if you want to stick with the uh kuzon's brand but i saw the big easy one and i thought you know what kill two birds with one stone we've got a bit of apple a bit of lemon good to go and off we pop boring these ones are very boring these are 59p and mum needed some antiseptic disinfectant so that was what she got there isn't really any like nice smelling disinfectants that i can find or nice colors they all tend to be brown and i'm like i know it only goes down a sink but can we like maybe have some jazzier disinfectants please maybe just see how it goes and then the last few things i picked these up for dada they are budweiser spicy hot chili crispy coated peanuts great with beer these were 89p and i saw some in a flavor of buffalo chicken wings which i think i might have got in the beginning of the year i can't really remember i definitely feel like i've got the chicken version before so i saw spicy and i was like ma'am you can take them down to dada and she needed some coffee sachets and i can't lie guys there wasn't a lot down there this month i was a little bit saddened by the instant coffee selection because i was kind of like normally you have a nice little row and i'm like there wasn't really much there but i picked up these ones which i think are a new one i don't think we've had these and it is the makate gold because what is a home bargains haul without makate gold and this is a caramel latte 10 sachets for one pound 10p per sachet and a hell of a lot cheaper than a starbucks or a costa my trick with these if you want it a bit more foamier if you've got a milk frother you can milk froth your up what milk froth your up froth your milk up and add a little bit extra into this or just whip up the sachet and if it's one that they should leave like a little creamy layer on the top froth it up and you're good to go honestly absolutely love it and then the another addition to the family guys look i got another gonk they did have this in blue and lilac but the yellow just screamed to me i love this this little guy was 4.99 look how soft he is look at how soft he's got his little ears with his little sunflower and can you see that he's got a little ladybird on his nose i couldn't not pick one of these up if i tell mum though there's other colors and mum goes and purchases them that's not my fault okay that's not my problem i've done my book and got one if mum wants to be the irresponsible adult and maybe get the pink the blue and the lilac then that's up to her but yeah i saw this and i was like i, ca I can't do an easter haul without getting another gonk like our gonk family is growing and you are just cute you're gonna go with all the other easter gonks okay and on that note guys the bed is filled we have a new family member i think that means that the home bargains haul for march is done <laughs> so my lovelies that was a haul and a half wasn't it as i say it has really thrown me off the easter being march because normally easter's april i'm like oh my god i've lost a month in preparation what is happening but i need to go and put all this away now get my steps in putting away that's for sure if you did enjoy the video you know what to do because i'm not going to rib rabbit and take up your time any longer you will probably be sick of seeing my face right about now you've had quite a lot of me this week and guess what you've got me tomorrow as well
Oopsie, happy Sunday tomorrow. Um, guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. Have you picked any of these bits up in your home bargains? And how are you feeling about Easter? Has it thrown you off? Why does the question, question, why does Easter change so much? Why is it not a set day every year? Why does it change? If anyone knows the answer, please do let me know down below. But as I say, I need to go put all this away. I need to get this up and ready for you guys for Saturday morning. Take care, stay safe as always. And I'll see you tomorrow for just a very, very casual video. And we should be back to a normal routine next week. Bye guys.